Hi there, it's Shell and it's Clint. Hey everybody, I'm from Durango. <laughs> I called him on the phone. <laughs> okay. Everyone have a wonderful day. So yeah. Okay, honey, I love you. I love you too, honey. Have fun. I'll talk to you later. Okay, honey. Bye bye. Okay. Um, bye. <laughs> Uh, he's been wanting to do that. He's really busy over in Durango. And he I talked to him a few minutes before I started making the video. And he said that um, he's really busy and uh, the vault is stuck. And it's like the lid's like 100 pounds and he can't do it. But I, I don't know what I could have done to help him because with my neck I can't do things like that. So... Anyways, guys, uh, today we are making another Forgotten Friday video. So, um, this one was actually inspired by Gail Augusta Nelly. I love her. I believe I have her in the description links below um, as one of someone, of someone who inspires me. So, I will check that out. And so, we're going to kind of do that. I'm not going to sew uh, Clint. It's supposed to be out getting my um, propane, and right now my sewing machine's outside. So, we are just going to probably just make two things. I, I don't think I'm going to do a mass make or anything like that. And these are the papers that I'm choosing for his new journal cover. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So excited. I ran outside earlier. My hands hurt so bad because they were so cold. So, if you guys watched her last week, or I think it was last week, maybe a week or so ago, she used cards, and what you do is you kind of sew them into your signatures, and these cards are edible and poisonous plant cards, gre greeting cards, and I thought it would be really fun if I could find roses on one of these, so... These cards are fabulous, aren't they? Look at that one. It's totally different. Chicory. Oh, have you guys ever had chicory coffee? We read it, and, uh, yeah, it's not very... Anyways, we got some. There's rose hips, so I'm going to put that aside. Um, yeah, it's not, not that great. We got some. We were reading, like, an old cowboy book, and they would use chicory all the time, so we ordered some didn't stay around in our house very long because we were not a, not a fan so there are rose hips which kind of have to do with you know the roses rose hips <laughs> today is uh, a what's it called a bunch of uh, things you didn't know you needed to know <laughs> rose hip you can take the rose hips and you can make jelly out of them right or tea or whatever but you have to make sure that you strain them very, very well. Or because of the tiny, tiny fibers and seeds in a rose hip, you'll get itchy bottom syndrome. True story. <laughs> so, but they do have a uh, high vitamin C. Uh, cut them open, remove the seeds, and use the fleshy rinds. They make excellent jams and jellies, or they can be dried and used for tea. So we had went and we had picked like a whole bunch of rose hips and we boiled them down we strained them like five times because we didn't want no itchy bottoms and uh clint took a bite took a we didn't put sugar or anything in it and he took a sip of it a taste of it with a straight face and everything and he's like you got to try that and i'm like oh is it good and he just looked at me and so i took one and oh my gosh it was so gross Yum, asparagus season's coming up. I love fresh asparagus. I am thinking that there are not going to be any roses in here. Sorry, it's just things popping up, telling you stories. Because I know this isn't going to be that long of a video. This one, we do have some that, oh, this is a nightshade. That's poisonous. But sometimes we see plants that have red. I really ought to read these, huh? 
Um, the cats are asleep. So I'm trying to sneak this one in and probably another video in today. And then I have these and they're called Kate Greenaway playing cards. I got these uh, when I went up to see Miss Gail. She was such a sweetie. And uh, in Denver, I got these at a thrift store, $4. I was going to see if there's anything. Surely they would have like roses in here is what I was thinking. I don't know if you guys can see. That one's kind of cute. That one kind of has roses. Let me bring you guys down just a touch. So I, I ran out by myself this morning and we still have some boulders and stuff kind of as we go to the shed, to the studio. And I was thinking, I'm just going to leave my cell phone in the house. But someone my age, a little bit older, I think she was like 56, recently she fell in her house and because of the way she fell or something she hurt herself so much that she couldn't get to her phone and i was thinking that would be my luck so i thought you know maybe that one but better safe than sorry so but i thought since we're going to do this pink journal pink and blues is kind of kind of the theme Ooh, that one's really cute. And the thing about these are, I believe every single one of them is different. So, my plan was to share, but you know how I am. I think I did give my friend Sue one of these. It looked kind of like friend friendship or something. And when we were up there, I gave her one. But I think this Anne Hathaway, Kate, it's not even the right one. Kate Greenaway, she um, did like paintings, and so they took one of each of her paintings and made a deck of cards out of it. But they're so cute, and they're very, well, to me, they're very um, unique and hard to find, you know. Okay, so... Uh, I just need two because, you know what, I could actually, I could just make all those work, couldn't I? I could, you're right. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's raise you guys back up. I did pick out papers. I don't know that I'll show, I might show um, the paper pack that I'm going to use because I need to choose a paper to make these out of. So... Uh, this is Stamperia. It is precious Stamperia. I'll look it up and hopefully I will link it below. I'm trying to link things a little bit different down there. So if it's something I used in the video, I will link it. That's my plan anyways. Oh, aren't these pretty? I actually had two two paper pads to choose from. Ooh, I love this. And what we're going to do, I mean, that one, I think it would go with any of those, wouldn't it? I like this one. Let me see what the back is. Oh, but it's got that really pretty. Hmm. Let me keep looking. Um, what you need is like six by six pages for this. You could do a little bit bigger, but that one is so pretty. I hate to. And I mean, it pretty much just decorates itself for you. What was on the back of that? Because you could cut those and just use these two pages. That might be kind of fun, actually. I kind of like that one, too. pretty so pretty I love this this was when I was allowed to buy paper <laughs> you guys know I'm just kidding I have a lot of paper so and this time of year we're not very um, busy okay so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna cut two of these off let me find the 
upside. That's the upside. So that would be up. And I think I'm just going to trim it right here. It's a little bit longer than six inches, but I think these were created to use the six by six um, paper pads. But you can, you know, that's the whole point of it is to make your own your own kind of thing. And then I think I'm gonna trim this a little bit just because I got so close on that other side. We're gonna shellify. Shellify. I was watching some people today. I can't remember who they were. I was trying to, let's see if I can just fold this over, trying to get my steps in, my walk in for this month, and I'm not going to make it, so I'm not going to get my new bracelet, but it is what it is, because I think I'm up to like, I have to walk five and a half miles a day for the next three days, and I do not see that happening. I walked two miles today, and I was like, I, yeah, I can't, I can't. So, I do like that, and actually I wanted to turn it inside like this, I think. I was going to score it, but I wanted it to be even, so I wasn't sure. I need to turn this one. No, you're not supposed to do that. Okay. So this is going to be actually in your journal, like this, okay. <clears throat> And then we'll put this piece like right here. And I think what I'm gonna do is do both of these. Put one like on the back, one on the front. That will also leave you enough um, journaling space there and there. And then this will be inside our journal. So one thing I do wanna do is maybe frame these out in a pink, just to kind of bring in some of the pink because it is mainly pink though there is some blue let's see what we have and I think if I even cut these down to like eight and a half by eleven I think that's gonna be just fine you know one thing I keep forgetting to grab is my corner rounder whenever I go outside but God willing everything will be settled today and I'll be out there so let's see I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down because this is one of my papers of choice in my journal I don't think it really matters where I'm gonna cut it I'll just cut that one eight and a half by eleven And that way I'm not like cutting into it and causing any issues but hopefully hopefully I'm gonna have to turn that like that which I don't mind doing that you know I wrote my friend and asked her. I had a dream that she had a, um, <laughs> that she, uh, yeah, that worked. Had tattoos all over her face. And I was saying, ooh, I don't like those or something. And she got really mad at us in my dream. And so I asked her. <laughs> She's like, no way. <laughs> Well, it was funny because it was like big old block letters or numbers across her face. I don't know. It was funny. Funny in my dream, though, at the time I was thinking, hmm. You know what? I think I could just, just trying to figure out how I want, you know, where I want the pocket and all of that.
I could cut down another sheet of paper if I need to, huh? I could do that. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this one down to the exact same size. You know what I haven't heard this morning? My brother wrote me. I just realized I have not heard any blackbirds. I told him I sent them down to him because, man, they were so loud. You couldn't even hardly hear yourself think. So, I could do that. And the reason that I did that is, and I could put it like that, is because I want like one on one side, one on the other, and then that will be the pocket. But then that will kind of go in here like this. So you're going to see that. I think that will work. So uh, the other two. So I'm okay with cutting this one down. But yeah, her, her tattoos were kind of like a junk journal. So it's probably just having too much, <laughs> too much junk journal stuff going on. Let me see if I can find one that's a little bit more pink. There's a blue and a brown. Not as much pink in here as I... I think that one would be so pretty. So, let's cut this one down to 11 this way and eight and a half the other way. And the one that Gail showed, if you've seen that, is I think she used um, Project Life cards. I've never had Project Life cards that I'm aware of. I may have, you know, like a pack or something, but a lot of people used to get them a long time ago. And that's what she used for this step. I just cut down paper because I just, you know, I'm not going to go out and buy something that... <laughs> I don't need. If I find Project Life or whatever it was in the store, I might um, purchase it, but when I can just cut down the paper and do the same thing. Okay, so like I was saying, one thing I'm not happy about is I don't have corners. So I think what I'm going to do is Let's just see if we can kind of trim around in that same a corner rounder just because it be happier. I tell you the corner rounder is so nice. That looks really crooked, but we're gonna go with it and see see what we have. Yeah, Clint was like, can't you just mark it. I was talking to him the other day. Oh man, I forgot my corner rounder. It's not that far outside, but when it's cold, today is really nice though. So I think what I'll do is just use one of these. Kind of trim around these here. Sunshine, and we're starting to see our driveway again. My brother said in Texas it was like 
70 or it got up to 80 or something yesterday. It doesn't always tell me the truth. Sometimes he's like, oh, I was just kidding. So I don't know if he's telling me <laughs> the truth or not. Uh, my family's odd. I never said that. So it's kind of like, okay, whatever. Hi, Mom, if you're watching, I'll call you later this weekend so Clint can talk to you, too. Mom's been leaving a video, or comments, which has been fun. One comment, anyways. She's probably like, darn it, Michelle has discovered where I am. Some people tend to hide from me. Ha, huh, just kidding. They might, though. Who knows? So, yeah, the um, journal that Clint just made, the one with the expanding spine, flew out of the store. And uh, I know several people were interested in it, but like I said, it's just kind of first come, first served, and I don't stress about about it, you know. Sorry, this is crooked and it was bugging me. Must have just trembled crooked. That one's okay. I think two of them were crooked and two of them weren't. So. Okay, where's my little black rose? There it is. Now, if I was outside, I probably would sew these on. I do have Clint's sewing machine right there, but it's just, I don't know, I don't know. It's so heavy, I have to pull it towards me, and it's just, just a pain. So, I'm still thinking I might pull it out. We'll see. Okay. So, what I want to do is glue these down with my glue. The cats are crazy, and they, we have to hide our glue. Okay, let me find it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found it. It's way back there. I don't know. It was like behind his thing. So, I'm just going to kind of look and see which ones I want to wear. I kind of like that because it brings in the... I like the blue. I think I'm going to do this one. And I really like this wild rose. It kind of tells you about it. Um, I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to put like corners here so I could just tuck it up inside so you could pull it out and read about it. Is that a good idea? It's something I've never done, but you know, it might work. Let's kind of trim this thing. Let's see if I can if I can get one that's going to work as a template. I'm kind of thinking of like photo corner things. Does that make sense? Probably just cut them like straight across, but we'll see. That's the only one I would really care for because these are just generic. So these ones. So if I cut it like this, I guess I could glue it around. Let's do that. So if I kind of glued it like that and kind of pointed this. Trying to get it like on the same side. Is that kind of goofy looking? Hmm. Well, guess it doesn't matter, huh? Okay. Let's put one down here. Maybe I only need two. I don't know. I want 
to glue down any. So I'm just kind of trying to copy it so it kind of looks the same. I have some of these out in the studio, but you guys know where are they and what's what's the fun. So they're just little squares. I'm just trying to make sure I kind of pull it up about the same. This side is that's not right. Okay, this is in the center. There's one there. About like that. Kind of goofy looking. That'd be cute if I had the sewing machine with that. Ooh, look at that pretty, pretty rose. And I think I'll take that out. So if I have any glue like splurting where it's not supposed to, that. So it's a little bit crooked on that side. That maybe. I don't know, it's not perfect, but it's a junk journal, so it doesn't have to be. And then this piece can pop out. Let those dry. That one's way dry, or it probably would change it, but it's fine. It's fine. So we will, maybe I will pull his thing up. coming around it. Uh, hopefully it turns out okay. I don't know, I just thought, well, that'd be kind of fun because it is a um, card. And then too, if you wanted to keep that card, you could just pop another one in there. It's kind of cute. I mean, it's kind of funky looking. I hear critters moving. That's kind of cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me move you up there. It's not perfect, but it's kind of fun. We're going to leave it. So, I think what I want to do... Is I'm going to glue this one straight down. You could leave it for a pocket, but I don't think we're going to need one here. Because we are, you know, the whole thing is going to be a pocket. And I like the pink right there, kind of poking out. And see, this card is a little bit smaller. So I think if I was to sew around this, I think it would be fine on either side. Okay, you guys talk, talked me into it. Let me move some stuff and we'll sew, but you know what? Let's go ahead and do the other side too. Sorry. Because I'll sew that as well. I'll do one on, one on either side. Very simple because like I said, these are just a generic back. So I'm not too, not too worried about it. But yeah, if you had Project Life cards with that make this so simple. But I had totally forgotten about this. Um, Gail actually bought one of my journals and this idea was inside of it. But it was an idea, not from her, I don't believe, but from one of her subscribers. So we all learn from each other, don't we? But I love that. I think that's cute. And I think it's really going to add something to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just put a little bit of glue here, here, and here. Make sure that's right side up. It is. <laughs> you never know about me. And then we're going to have this as a little 
tuck spot in there. I'll probably just put like a little tag that kind of shows up just a little bit on top. Maybe we'll do that real quick too. Okay. And the same thing on this one. Just a little. Just to hold it in place while we're sewing. Just checking my checking my ups and downs. But I do want to sew around this one. And we're not going to sew across the top, so it'll just be the two edges. Okay, so let me put this up. I'm going to clean this up and move up the sewing machine. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put his thing up here, but I feel like it's coming off the wrong side. I don't know if it matters on the sewing machine. We shall see. So I'm just going to go as close to the edge on these as I can. Try to stay in the... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for the foot. <laughs> can't do that, can you, Michelle? Because there is no foot. Okay. This is his 100-year-old sewing machine. This one's not as important as far as um, staying exactly right there, but the other one will definitely be. So, I think I'm going to used to use this all the time, but I was getting tendonitis in my hand, arm, my elbow or whatever, all the time, and so I really couldn't um, continue using it, you know. It's really sturdy. It goes through like cardboard and stuff like butter. 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 But there really is no backup on it, so you can't really lock in your stitches. So, I'm going to just pull that out a little bit, and then we'll go to this one. And I'm going to try to still get to the very edge, you know. There we go. We'll trim this one. And then we'll glue down the edges of the uh, thread. It's fun to use. But I really do not want it to get on my card there. I don't know how straight it is, but it'll be fine, right? Right. Okay. It's fine. I got a little bit on the card on the back, but it's no biggie. So, at least this one we can go ahead and pull this out, read the back if we want, or pop in another card. So, uh, you do want to kind of set it with a little bit of glue on the front and the back. I was watching Gail this morning, and she's doing a bee journal. And I was like, oh, I really want spring. I'm really feeling spring fever this year, and I think it's because we've been in the house for so long. Uh, the snow stuck around. You know, there's so many issues with the snow everywhere, and it just feels like maybe spring kind of offers an, a new type of thing this year. I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping. Let's see. That's probably my hubby. <laughs> oh, poor Clint. He was struggling so hard on that one. And, uh, yeah. Right, he was struggling on that one. Conduit thing is, like I said, a hundred pound lids on it and then it was empty so he struggled for nothing which is always a bummer because opening and struggling to open those is really difficult where's my lid didn't i just have that okay here it is 
Oh, you guys. You guys know how I am. Okay, I think we're done with the with that. <clears throat> Let's see if there's anything else we want to do. I should go look and see if there's any pink ribbon. I don't think I have any in the back room. Where's this other one? Here it is. Here it is. So it doesn't really matter which one is on the front. Isn't that cute? And I totally did that wrong, didn't I? You know, I could still put it on there. It just... I should have... Uh, maybe I'll glue it down. Or sew it down. I should have sandwiched it in. Live and learn, huh? <laughs> But, I mean, that's still really cute. And then you still have your little pocket up here. So, that's actually probably better because that gives you more writing space. So, let me go see if I have anything pink to decorate with. What? I was heading into the back room. And I saw these. I was thinking I really need some pink. So, um, let me find. There it is. See, he didn't throw them away. I would have dug them out anyways because I knew I could use them. He's so funny. I was watching his other, um, uh, what's it called? Other craft shoot video. And uh, I really like this one. These two, I think. And, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know how it goes. I'll remember in a second. But yeah, his cover, his cut. Oh, what he did was he did, um, cut them one at a time. And this time he just stacked them up and cut them all at once. And I was thinking, man, that's so much easier, isn't it? Yeah, I think we need something there. Let's see what we have. I'm going to try to salvage this piece. It's a little bit crooked. And I think that's going to work. I like the, the fraying, especially to kind of go with the um, cover. I think it really needed some pink. It just felt like I was lacking on pink. So, so I was thinking about like visiting some of the other YouTubers and maybe um, putting them below, like maybe making some um, one of their projects and kind of not sponsoring really, but kind of uh, support, you know, make something they do and kind of support them. So if you would like to be done, but I was thinking it could be on a certain day, but I haven't decided what I want to call it. I don't think I want that to come over too much just because the other one is not going to have much room. I think what I'm going to do though is just sew straight down that edge. But I don't want it to, you know, cover that up too much. So, but, you know, maybe like, um, I don't know, we're doing catchy names right now. It seems like everyone is. Um, Like Friendship Friday or, you know, something like that. Uh, let's see if that's straight. I think it is. Pretty straight, isn't it? Oops. It was. <laughs> uh, so, if you have an idea, let me know. Because it could be kind of fun and... You know, there's a lot of people. Now, what I want to do, see, that's going to be six inches. That's going to be too long. Not too much too long, but let's move this over till it is five and a half. Let's see if I can make that right. I mean, I don't mind if it's a little long, but is that going to work? I think it will. I mean, it's not kind of hides that one, but I think it'll be fine right there. 
And then I could come back and do like a little collage or something here. But right now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sew straight down, uh, probably closer to that edge. That'll give me some stability. And over here I want to use this one because I like that one. This was actually the one I wanted to do. Clint chose some of those other ones, fabrics. And I don't know. I'm just really in the mood for spring. And usually I'm not, but I think it's just got so many plans for the garden and the front garden the back garden the you know I'm gonna do a little kind of want like an English garden in the front yard I think we're gonna pay somebody to come in and smooth it because we haven't really done anything since we've been here other than a few um, a few bushes and stuff and just kind of my friend says what she does my best friend she said that Anytime she's like at the grocery store and you know they always have like clearance plants. Plants on clearance and stuff. She just sees what they are. If they're perennials, she just purchases them. So they're really inexpensive. I'm not that great at keeping things alive. <laughs> so let's try this again. I think it would go about right there. That would work. Okay, which one was it? It was right there. But yeah, it was just just really excited for spring this year. Okay, so that's 13, that's four, five and a half. About. I don't mind if it's a little bit bigger, a little bit shorter. I love that. I think that is so cute. Let it dry for just a second. Is that straight? That's not really straight, is it? Uh, maybe a little bit. Not too bad. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this one and hopefully not gunk, gunk up his... Uh, sewing machine here. Otherwise, you know I'm going to hear about it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to... Which one was it? This one? The one I did first. I think what I'm going to do is come down here, stitch across just a little bit onto the card itself, and then straight back up. That way, because it is kind of a, sorry, takes me a minute to figure this out. But Clint sews all of his stuff on, on, on in this journal. Ooh, on this sewing machine, hold on. But I'm not as, have to really watch it or your thread will come out. There we go. And I think I'm going to start up here at the top. Just go all the way down, down here, and then we'll go back up. Add some interest. Is that straight? I can't find that foot. Oh, geez. But I don't want to do too much on the card because that is also going to uh, shorten our um, place for a tag. So that's probably good. Jody, hi Jody. <laughs> she was uh, talking today. She's so, so sweet. And, uh, you know, Clint did his thing yesterday. That she hadn't laughed so hard in forever, so I'm happy that you got a chance to laugh. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video, I encourage you to go see it. That's cute. Such a cute little color. Something's going on with my computer. That's what you hear in the background. Okay, let's. Ooh, I don't want it there. Let's go ahead and go here. That way I know for sure 
that I'm going to be okay, and I do not want to stitch on that, do I? Can I move it? I can move it a little bit. So, let's go straight down. It's kind of a heavy piece. That's one reason I wanted to stitch it all the way down. Turn it here, and I just wanted to make sure it's not going to cause any issues. Just like one, maybe two. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna come back up and try to line line it up so I can. <laughs> I don't think I got into any of the whip glue, so that's a good thing. And pull that. That is so cute. I have some other ideas to, to decorate this if I decide to later. Where's my other one? Here it is. So, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so... I think this is just so cute. So let's go ahead and make a tag to go on the inside just because we already have it out. And that will be one last step we have to do later. But the Forgotten Friday was making these with the um, cards on them. I think it worked out just fine, you know, as far as that. I think that's so cute. Okay, let me find my scissors. Tags. I might have some in the pack. And there's some. I think I could cut them down, couldn't I? It's just such a cute little... Let me see. I don't think there's anything smaller. There might be, though. Oh, here's one. I started writing in my friend's book, like all of the things I like to put in journals and then anything that I want to uh, remember to try to put in journals. So I thought, kind of write notes and stuff to myself because sometimes I do forget, you know, oh yeah, I used to put those in every journal and I forgot about that now. So plan is to try to remember that. That's cute. I need to ink stuff, but I'll ink that when I get back out there. My distressing's probably froze, frozen. Let's see. It's really kind of not flimsy necessarily, but it is kind of. So I'll probably back that on something. That's kind of cute. Let's see what if I can grab one of these other ones and make it. I think if I just kind of do it, cut it like in the same direction. Let's do this one. That's on the back. Great. Uh, Sophia, you do not need to be up here, honey. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, lay there. I thought I would kind of just trim around this one. I think that would work. There's Sophia, just in case you were wondering. Probably be the last time you see her. No, I'm kidding. You'll still see her when Clint does his videos, most likely. I told him, though, I think he's going to move more stuff out there than he expects because sometimes these animals really are annoying. So yeah, see if I inked it, I think that, that would be fine. So yeah, we got two of those. Actually, you could almost put them together, couldn't you? But you're not going to have a place to write. 
so you know what we're gonna let her stay here let me show you these two put this one in here and I'll probably put like some lace or something on the top of that I think that's really cute and this one in here and we're gonna call it done so thank you guys so much for watching uh, be sure and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up uh, go check out Gwendolyn's channel um, she's she's a new one on YouTube she's a dear friend and uh, she cracks me up I watched her while I was uh, drinking my coffee this morning and I thought I was gonna yeah uh, good thing I was careful while I was drinking my coffee let's just say that so thank you guys so much for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next video tazines see you later bye mm -hmm.